Anthony Scaramucci, former White House communications director, was watching all of that with me. Yeah. Uh, the president calling out Bruce Orr and his wife Nellie yeah. uh, there. Were you surprised to see this tick along now, uh, maybe a second security clearance taken away by this president? I'm not surprised because uh, uh, Sarah uh, went through a list of people that would be potentially have their security clearance. There were nine. So, I mean, listen, the, the only thing here, I understand why the president's so upset. I understand why he believes all these allegations are false. And I do believe that he gets exonerated by the, the Mueller report. Maybe there's some people on the periphery that did things that were inappropriate, but I really believe that the president did nothing inappropriate. He'll be totally exonerated, but he's upset. And so... When he gets riled up like that, he's starting to take action, and he's starting to take action, which you just have to ask yourself, is it too partisan? Because we've had 75 years since the end of the Second World War where we've been a bipartisan team committed on national security. And so what I worry about is not whether it's Orr or John Brennan or three or four people that get removed, but if a fight starts like this uh, and there's a Democratic president in eight years, let's say, They're the, and they, uh, the and they start... They start, they start doing the same thing because for me, having traveled to Afghanistan on troop support, having traveled to Iraq and seen what's out there and understanding the risks. And by the way, full disclosure, I had John Brennan at our, our conference last year talking about these issues. Uh, and I'm very close to General Petraeus and others in the intelligence community. I just want to be careful here that we're not going overboard uh, because I do think the president is, uh, is going to be exonerated. And so I understand he's upset. You just have to oh, be careful. Oh, that's an interesting point be that you careful. make. careful. That's all I'm saying. Anthony, because um, you don't need to jump the shark. Is that what I kind of hear yeah, you saying? Yeah, I, I think he's I think he's got a set of cards that are way better than perhaps he, he even thinks. I think he's going to get exonerated on the Mueller investigation. I think he's going to have a great success in the midterms, better than people expect. Mm -hmm. And he's obviously going to win re-election. So... Uh, with that in mind, and again, I'm not taking anything for granted. Okay, and that's one of the things I love about the president. He's always playing like it's seven nothing, even if the scoreboard. But you're playing long ball. Is, is sixty. I'm playing long ball. I'm suggesting to him you got to yeah. be careful here because, uh, in a 75 year commitment, we brought down the Berlin Wall. We ended Soviet style communism. Uh, we're going to bring a herd to the Iranian theocracy over the next five years. We're ending the nuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Mm -hmm. We've had a bipartisan commitment, and the president knows this better than anybody. He was so, here helping people after 9-11. He knows that we needed a bipartisan commitment interagency to defend this great city and well, sure, many great cities around the country. Sure, he was in New York, as you point out. He, he knows. knows. I mean, look, he flew so Bernie Carrick and Mayor Giuliani down to the White House right after 9-11. Okay, the president couldn't be more patriotic about this stuff. I'm just worried that we conflate these things now and we bring in some partisanship into an area where, yeah. even in Washington, it's been less partisan. Such an interesting point. I mean, you've been with him. You've been next to him. Um, you know the challenges with going against an intelligence community. Mm -hmm. What is that relationship like right now, in your estimation, between I, the president of the United States and the agencies that he has openly criticized? Well, listen, I've told him this directly. Uh, and again, this is not a great scientific study, but I do know a lot of people in that community. They love this guy. OK, so the rank and file people in the intelligence community love the president. The people of ICE love the president. Mm -hmm. There's a, a couple of dots at the top of the spectrum that probably did things that were inappropriate. They perhaps wept weaponized areas of the agency because they didn't like him or didn't want him to become president. But if you And they text messaged each yeah, other exactly. in they some did, cases. They, sure. things that, they did things inappropriately that have to infuriate him, but what I don't want him to do is go so far over the side to here overreach. Yeah, that he, that he hits them. And, I, and I'm going to give one quick example. All right. When the two police officers were shot here in Brooklyn, uh, and de Blasio, Mayor de Blasio made those comments and the police started turning their back on him. That was a very bad moment for the mayor. We don't want our intelligence agencies to turn their back on their commander in chief, who they generally and preponderantly in the majority really like. Wow. Even if you don't live on the East Coast, we remember those images and just, that relationship deteriorating. Just, so, you know, that as, was as the pre as the That's an interesting example. As the president says, be cool. Yeah. He always says that, uh, be cool. All right, um, cooler than the other side of the pillow, we'll move now to that list <laughs> that okay. we just saw. Because the yeah. two, those text messages, two of those people are on that list, Peter mm -hmm. Strzok and Lisa Page. And the question isn't whether the president should take away their clearance, their security clearance for those individuals. It might be, why do they still have them? 
Yeah. Listen. And I know there's a case against them and they need to be able to look at certain materials. L l but are there people on that list that you say it's less political and there's more no, about what needs to happen there's, or not? There's, there's no question now that we're forcing a re-engineering and a review of this entire thing. And who's going to keep their clearances, not keep their clearances? Um, I think that the point being made about suppression and silence is not really with John Brennan. Uh, the president did make John Brennan more famous than he was prior. It's really about future is people. Is he doing that with Bruce Orr? Because he said well, most people today. Well, yeah, yeah. But I think, with, I think, with, I think with the is. issue is okay, wait a minute. If I'm going to get my clearance denied, I'm not going to speak out. You see what I mean? And, and so that, so but that's I think, a personal I think that's, choice, right? Yeah, so I think that's where the deterrence is by getting security clearances denied. But listen, having said all of that, the president's doing a great job on the economy, great job on national security. And he's talking about he's, that in the Hamptons doing, he's today. Do, he's doing a great job on wages. Uh, he cut the slack in the labor market. you got to give him credit for the African-American, Hispanic-American unemployment situation. And the country's growing, and it feels more vibrant. And I'll predict right here on your show uh, that probably for the beginning of the fourth quarter, he'll have a deal struck with NAFTA. And it'll be a phenomenal deal for the American worker. And so he's doing, a, he's doing a great job. And so are you saying that because you're Anthony in and you're cool lane. or because you've talked with the president or both? No, I'm saying that because I'm cool. I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> I'm just giving you my opinion. All right. And, but, but, you know, listen, even though I'm, I, people say, oh, my God, you're being critical. I'm not being critical. I'm being constructive because I really do like the president. Well, look, it's, it's, really well. it's a fresh perspective. And it's one uh, that people caution each other who are close about, hey, don't go too far to the edge. You may not even need to approach the edge. I hear what you're saying. I want to talk about don't Paul cut Manafort. To the bone. We are on verdict watch right now. His defense seems to think, even though they didn't put up one witness in, mm -hmm. in mounting a defense, that they are doing well if this jury goes through the weekend and hands a verdict on the other side. You so say we, what? We were talking about it in the green room. I do believe that. I and also by the way, former federal prosecutor in our green room, so I know you were having a high yeah, level we, we were having conversation. Yeah, we were having a huddle there. But I do think, and it's probably 50-50 on this when you look at the statistics, but two things are telling you. One, they asked about the beyond the reasonable doubt, uh, the threshold of evidence required by the government. Mm -hmm. I think that's very telling. That means there's at least one potential jury member that doesn't think they got there. And then the second thing is if they do go through the weekend, when people are deliberating like that, they like to give the benefit of the doubt to the defendant. And so it smells that way to me. We'll have to see. But I, will, I give Paul Manafort huge credit for being the guy that he is. He's a principled guy. He's in his own foxhole. The president a lot of, defended him A lot of today. people have a, well, I give, Called him I, a nice guy. I give the president credit for that. He's in a foxhole by himself. Uh, he needs to know that he has friends out there. He was incredibly good to me on the campaign. I've got an enormous amount of respect for Paul. Uh, and so let's see how this thing resolves itself. But there's a learning lesson here related to Paul Manafort. He hung in there and he stayed principled. Interesting. Anthony hey, Scaramucci. Happy, happy weekend. Are we going to shout at these shoes before we oh leave? Oh, my gosh. No, you I mean, need to stop. He likes no, my I'm, shoes. No, it's not By the that. way, welcome back from, from Italy. Ci vediamo, spero. Si. Molto bene. Molto bene.